Promoting the growth of the tabletop sports hobby, this is Imagisport. Again, and there's the kick out of two. So it's coming down to the wire here between Hill and Kaneki. Will there be a tag for Haystack Hill? No nope, hot tag for Kaneki. He tags in Hammer. And they're going to get a point out of it. And Hammer's going to get a pill attempt on Haystacks Hill. B goes down to a C. And so it's 11 to 23 needed to kick out. 25, ooh, that's one. And that's two. And that is three. And ladies and gentlemen, we have new World Tag Team Champions without the help of Roger Elder, I might add. And those new champions are going to be Nick Kanicki and Dan Hammer of the Blue Collar Mafia. So with that in mind, the Blue Collar Mafia come out to celebrate. And I'm sure that Roger Elder's gonna be out here somewhere. Let's, uh, let's get his card out here as well. And let's- yeah, Magisport presents Old School Wrestling. Featuring the stars of the Old School Wrestling Association. All OSWA matches are simulated with Face to the Mat from Play Games. You can order Face to the Mat and various wrestler card sets from the Play Classic website at www.playclassic.com. Now, let's go to the OSWA studio. Hello there and welcome to another episode of Old School Wrestling here on Imagisport. I'm Derek Jones. Thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this program. As you saw in the opener, we have new World Tag Team Champions here in the OSWA. They are the Blue Collar Mafia team of Nick Kanicki and Dan Hammer. And so the Blue Collar Mafia look to expand their dominance tonight in our main event as two more members of the BCM, Kevin Linton, the steamroller, and Mr. Everything, Jeff Fairweather, will team together. And they're going to be taking on the OSWA World Heavyweight Champion, the Lobster Man, Jeff Costa, and his tag team partner, Roughneck Ron Cassidy. That's going to be in our main event tonight. Also on today's show, Steve America will make his first TV title defense against Copacetic. Now, this match was set up by our commissioner. As you recall, a few shows back, the commissioner gave Copacetic an ultimatum uh, if he wanted to uh, face the commissioner in a match at OSWA Revenge. Either prove your worth in the ring or you're going to be looking for another job and the commissioner will have to try to find another host for the ringside lounge. So there's a lot of pressure on Copacetic in this one. Is he up to the task? We'll find out later on. Also, Hank McPhee and Croc Wilson will do battle in a return match from initiation. Uh, last time they met, no winner was decided. This time we'll have a grudge challenge match with TV grades on the line. We will have an episode of the Ringside Lounge. Uh, not sure who the guest is going to be yet, but uh, we'll see that whenever it happens. But first and foremost, let's go to the ring to see the OSWA debut of the freight train, Jerry Wayne. And our first bout here on Old School Wrestling is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Globe, Arizona, weighing in at 260 pounds, this is Tucson Jones. And his opponent hails from Olaf, Kansas, 270 pounds. It is the freight train, Jerry Wayne. And Jerry Wayne making his old school wrestling debut here today. Let's see what the pre-match role has in store for us. We go to Highlight Reel O. And it comes up with a 25. The underdog wrestler is angered during a TV interview by interruption from the opponent. Increase the grudge grade by two points. So Tucson Jones grudge grade will go up from a one to a three for this event. And so with that out of the way, we are just about ready to start this 
shows action. So here we go with our opening contest. And our first fast action card is heavy. And that goes to Jerry Wayne. He's going to get two points for a fall away slam. And heavy again. So three more points. And now we go to highlight reel. We'll go odd for A, even for B, and it is odd. So we will flip the book over to highlight reel A for our next part of the action. And it's going to be a 64. The wrestler lands a sucker punch, ignites a free-for-all in the ring between multiple wrestlers, managers, spectators, order eventually restored, and most importantly, both wrestlers are disqualified. So basically, the ref calls for the bell as everybody's coming in from the back uh, because Mr. Everything stuck his nose in to start interfering, and that, that brought out Roughneck Ron Cassidy. And so, yeah, we've got everybody in the hot box coming out to join the festivities here. So... We've got to break away from the action here to clear up this mayhem, but we'll be back with more old school wrestling right after this timeout. Wow, what a Donnie Brook we had on our hands there. As the officials uh, try to restore order uh, down at ringside, uh, I'm going to take a few minutes and show you that Face of the Mat is available now on Play Games' new Play Classic website. So let me go ahead here and share the screen so you can see that. As you can see, the 5.0 edition of Face to the Mat is available on this website. Most of what you see uh, in the matches that I simulate have been carried over to the 5.0 edition. And of course, there are various wrestler sets that are available as well. The 2021 Wrestling America Federation wrestlers are available for sale. Or if you just want a box replacement to uh, replace your current face to the Mac box, you can certainly get that there as well. And again, all of these uh, cards and the 5.0 edition of the game are available at the Play Classic website. Just go to www.playclassic.com. That's two A's in the word play. And then click on the icon that has the face to the mat box cover, and it'll take you directly to the face to the mat page where you can order these items. So with that in mind, I believe that uh, everything's been cleaned up and now we're ready to, to uh, go to our next match. So let's head down to the ring and get to that match right now. Our next bout here on Old School Wrestling is a return grudge match. It is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from New Iberia, Louisiana, weighing in at 275 pounds, this is Croc Wilson. And his opponent hails from Dixon, Tennessee. He weighs in at 260 pounds. This is Honky Tonk Hank McPhee. So Hank McPhee and Croc Wilson in a return match from initiation where that one ended in a no contest. So we'll see if we can get the score settled today. We're going to go to highlight reel R for our pre-match roll in this bout. And it is going to be a 32. The heel attempts a cheap shot during the pre-match activities, but is stopped by the face ally. Increase the heel grudge grade by one point. So Hank McPhee trying to get in a cheap shot. Crash Bradley, though, comes out to stop the shenanigans right away. And so Hank McPhee is going to get his grudge grade increased because of that. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure of anybody, grudge grade or not, that has a bigger chip on their shoulder right now here in the OSWA than Hank McPhee does. We'll see how that comes into play here. In this match, ref call for the bell, and here we go. And our first back is for the heavy category, and that's going to go to Croc Wilson. He is going to get three points for a big splash. And now we go to the TV grades. That's Croc Wilson as well. Three points right there for a backbreaker. And now we go to the mean category. Croc Wilson is mean, but only on a square, and he is on a circle. So let's flip the action card around. Hank McPhee is agile, so he gets on the board 
with a flying elbow drop. And the grudge grade will go to Hank McPhee as well. So he's going to pick up two more points for a chokehold. And now we are over to quit. That is Croc Wilson. Three points right there for a step over arm bar. Back to the TV grade. And again, that's Croc Wilson. He will get three points for a roll up. And we will have our first pin attempt here. And it's 11 to 43 on the pin attempt. And it is a 56. That was one. And Hank McPhee kicks out at two. We will put a fatigue token down here for Hank McPhee. And we will roll on. And neither man has helped in this situation. So we are going to play on. Uh, neither one score. Let's see. Croc did not score on the last card. So... So basically, we will go ahead and we will just play on again. And we'll go to mean this time. Uh, Croc Wilson's mean on the square. He's going to get two more points. And he's going to get a pin without the benefit of the chip. So Hank McPhee C goes down to a D. So he needs 11 to 16 to kick out here. So we get one. We get two. And we get three. And Croc Wilson wins the rematch over Honky Tonk Hank McPhee. And he'll get his... TV grade increase in the process. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and go to the post-match roll. And we have a three here. We're going to go to highlight real X. Okay, so we got a 12. The winning wrestler talks trash and increased the wrestler's grudge grade to one point. So... Brock Wilson's going to up the TV grade to a double A, and his grudge grade is going to go up to four as he works his way up to the ranks here in the OSWA. Hank McPhee's TV grade, however, because of losing the grudge match, will go down to a D. So, Brock Wilson, your winner here in this next bout. Now it's time to go over to the ringside lounge. We'll go there momentarily. You are watching Old School Wrestling right here on In Magistral. Once again, it's time to close those shades and enter into the ringside lounge. And just before he is ready to hit the ring for his TV title match, here comes the host of the Ringside Lounge. This is Copacetic. And let's see who Copacetic's guest is going to be today. It's going to be 32. It's going to be the Hot Fox foe of the host. So for Copacetic, let's see who is going to come out here. But we'll say it's going to be his opponent for this match coming up, which is the current OSWA television champion, that being Steve America. He comes out with his championship belt. So with that in mind, let's go over to Highlight Real Eye and see how the interview transpires. It's going to be a 35. The guest successfully hikes this next match with a great speech. Next match will become a grudge match. If it's already a grudge match, then you increase the wrestler's grudge grade by 2d6 points. Well, it's not already a grudge match, but now not only is the OSWA television title going to be on the line between Copacetic and Steve America, but now TV grades are going to be on the line as well. And that's going to put even more pressure on Copacetic because remember the commissioners all made them. You know, basically prove your work here on the OSWA in the ring, but you're going to find yourself out of a job. So we'll see how that transpires. Let's get out of the ringside lounge and get the ring ready for that TV title match. It's coming up next. Uh, we'll be back with more OSWA's old school wrestling right after this. 
And as we shift our focus from the ringside lounge set to the ring itself, just wanted to give you a quick channel update. Uh, as you have probably noticed, it's uh, been a struggle to try to get some new content on this channel. I've had a lot going on uh, in regards to uh, the projects, uh, different uh, sports sim leagues that I run, and also, of course, my real job and family having something to do with that as well. So I had a new thought. And so uh, starting soon, what I think I'm going to try to do is incorporate what I will call the Imagisport look-ins uh, to the channel. So my whole idea for this is that because I am in, like I said, various leagues, various projects, so I am playing a lot of games, even though you don't see all of them on camera. And what I'm thinking about doing is if I'm playing a game and it's coming down to the tail end of it and it looks like it's going to be pretty close that it could go either way, then what I will do is record the last part of it. Now, it's not going to be anything fancy here. It's just uh, I'll just set up the camera and just go at it straight one take. Uh, not, no graphics, anything like that, just like you were tuning it in in progress if you were flipping channels uh, on your television. And so from that point, we'll record the conclusion of it. And like I said, that's pretty much the uh, basic concept behind the look-in. Hopefully that'll give me an opportunity to get some more content on this channel um, than I have been recently. So again, let me know what you think of that. You think it's a good idea, bad idea, just feel free to put it in the comments or to a message to me. So we're going to go ahead and now it's about time for that TV title match. Can Steve America successfully defend against Copacetic? Let's find out and go to the ring right now. And our next match here on Old School Wrestling is for the OSWA Television Championship. It is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first the challenger from Fortuna, California. Weighing at 235 pounds, this is Copacetic. And his opponent hails from Griffin, Georgia, weighing at 275 pounds. He is the current reigning and defending OSWA television champion. This is Steve America. All right, so Steve America and Copacetic set to do battle. We have a five. That means going to R for the pre-match roll. And with that, we have a 61. The face entrance is upstaged by the heel, angering the face. Increase the face grudge grade by two points, which is kind of interesting here because uh, both wrestlers are considered faces uh, here in this. But I think what's going to happen here is that People are starting to get a following for Copacetic, and that's making Steve America just a tad bit jealous here. So I think we're just going to increase Steve America's grudge grade from 9 to 11. That would seem to make the most sense in this situation. So that's what we are going to do. So with that in mind, this is what it's for, the OSWA Television Championship. It is on the line. This is Steve America's first title defense. He won one belt with a victory over Z last time out. So with that in mind, referee checks everybody. Everything checks out. So it is time to start this title match. And our first action card is to cheat. Nobody has to cheat. We will move on. Again, no one has cheat. But we do but we do have, we're going to check for help here. And Copacetic is going to be helped out by his hot box ally, which is none other than Croc Wilson. And so with that, he's going to get two points here for outside interference. And we will go ahead and flip one more time. And now we're going to go to the mean. No one is mean in this situation. And some more extracurricular activity from Croc Wilson here. I guess he's not liking the uh, kind of the attitude that Steve America has been portraying here. Well, let's see 
how that figures out. Now we go to favorite, neither one is favorite. And so we go to heavy, neither one is heavy. And we go to quick, Steve America's quick, so he gets back in this match with a throat strike. And we're going to go to Agile. Both of them are Agile. Steve America is trailing. So he's going to pick up a couple more points for a jumping spin kick. But does he have an object? Steve America does not. But Copacetic's not favorite, so we are going to move on. Now we're going to go to Agile, and America is still trailing. So we have a submission opportunity here. Wrestler will score one point and then additional points until the hold is broken with a die roll of one to three. So let's see here. Yep, and Copacetic will break that hold. So now we are tied on the match track. TV grade, that's going to go to Steve America. He's going to get two points for a big boot. Now over to the mean category. Neither wrestler is mean. Oh, man, we're going to go to the wild card chart. So let's go ahead and go to our standard match wild card results chart. Here we go. Ring matches. Wild card chart. The dice says 63. So is Steve America mean? He is not mean. So opponent mugs for the TV camera while squeezing the wrestler in a bear hug head vice. Opponent scores one point. So that's one point for Copacetic. And Grudge Gray, that's definitely going to go to Steve America. He is going to get one point for a punch. But the trailing wrestler, that is Copacetic. And he's going to get three points for a, a reverse and choke slam. And now we have gone out of the ring. So let's see what happens out there. It's an eight. The leading wrestler pummels an on, an, on the announcer's table for two points. Uh, not a pin opportunity since this is not the main event yet. So we're just going to continue outside of the ring. And it's going to be an 11. The leading wrestler Wallace opponent with an object retrieved from under the ring, and we will re-roll. So what do we have here? It is a six. Leading wrestler scores two points. The ref issues a warning. Match continues in the ring. And when they get back in the ring, Copacetic's going to have a pin attempt on Steve America. But it's 11 to 43 since it's on a chip, and Steve America will kick out of it. But he's got a lot of work to do to come back in this match. Could match. Could Copacetic become your new TV champion? Oh, we've got a highlight reel. Last time we were on highlight reel A, so we're going to go to highlight reel B this time. And so the roll here is a 32. Cheap shot by opponent triggers a free-for-all. Numerous other parties enter the ring. Orders restored. Match is restarted and increase each wrestler's grudge grade by the same amount of points. So with that in mind, we're going to go and mm, the grudge grade is going to be five points. So let's pause things momentarily while we sort everything out. So with order finally restored and everybody back to the back, uh, we're able to restart this match. It gave Steve America a little bit of a reprieve here. So to put them on a level playing field, we will start them off both at the first square. So from that, the ref will restart the match, and we're a TV grade at Steve America again. And he is going to get uh, two points here for a chin lock. And so, and he scored on that last one. So he's going to do his coast-to-coast -coast slingshot clothesline for two more points. And again, the two are going to go out of the ring. And we have another eight. So now he puts Copacetic on the announcer's table and gets two more points because of it. Now we have a seven. He slams his opponent to the concrete floor for another two points. Rolls Copacetic back into the ring and gives him a cover. But Copacetic kind of kicks out at one. So here we go. Is Steve America mean? He is not mean. So is Copacetic strong? He is not strong. So we're going to flip on. And we have a test of strength here. Both wrestlers, if they're strong or powerful. Nope. So no test of strength uh, coming up here. And so agile. Both of them are agile. Copacetic is trailing. So he is going to get two points for a slingshot suplex. But we're back to grudge. That's definitely Steve America 
with the two points there with a flapjack mat slam. And now he is calling for the national headbutt, 11 to 33. But he connects with it, but it's one, two, and Copacetic kicks out. Copacetic kicks out. We were already out of the ring, so we're not going to worry about that anymore. We're just going to keep the match in the ring for the rest of the duration here. And we go to powerful. That is Steve America. Three big points there for a face first power driver and another pin attempt. And so we got to have one, but Copacetta kicks out once again. Now we go to quick. Uh, America's quick only on a circle. Copacetic is quick, so he is going to pick up three points for a spinning cobra clutch. But he does not have an object, so but in Steve America is not going to be helped in this match. So we're just going to flip on and go to quick here. And Copacetic's quick again for two more points for an apron drive, five elbow drop, and he has the cover on Steve America. And we have a one count, and America is going to kick out of that. And it's anybody's match here. TV grade goes to Steve America. Two for the body slam, and another pin attempt. So D brought down two. So Copacetic's going to need an 11 here. Not quite sure he's going to get it. That's one. That is two. And that is three. And Steve America wins a tough one here. Match that had to be restarted uh, due to a riot that broke out earlier and had his troubles with Copacetic, but fought back and successfully defended his OSWA television championship. And not only that, because it's a grudge match, then we're going to have the TV grades changed here. But before we get to that, let's go to the post match. And we go to a five. So if the face wins, you go to T. If the heel wins, we will go to highlight real you. And again, both of them are faces in this situation, which makes this role rather interesting. But since the fans were cheering more for Copacetic, let's say that the heel won out this time. And so with that, we're going to go to highlight real you, and it's going to be a 43. The heel win results in the face you losing the choice quality. So Copacetic, one of his qualities is going to be lost. And I think in this case here, it's we're going to remove his help quality. So he's going to be on his own now. Uh, for the time being, as he tries to keep his job here in the old school wrestling association. And again, we'll go ahead and we will change these TV grades since it was a grudge match. Steve America's up to an A now, and Copacetic is going to be downgraded to an E. So that's going to do it. Your winner and still OSWA TV champion is Steve America. We'll be back with more of Old School Wrestling right after this time out. And it was a very tough match, but Steve America comes away with the television title still in his possession. And what will that mean for Copacetic? Uh, what's his job status going to be when we get to our next show? Only time will tell. Uh, but like I said, that's uh, for another time. Uh, before we get to our main event, just wanted to give you an update on OSWA Revenge, which is coming up as episode 14 of the Old School Wrestling Series. Of course, all of the titles are going to be on the line uh, on our next show. Main event is going to be a number one contenders match, and the commissioner has promised that before we go off the air today, he's going to announce the combatants for that number one contendership. So, Whoever wins the main event next week will take on the Lobster Man for the world title as our main event on OSWA Revenge. Speaking of main events, let's get to the ring right now as the Blue Collar Mafia will take on the Lobster Man and Roughneck Ron Cassidy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your old school wrestling main event 
It is a special tag team grudge challenge match. And it is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first team number one. Accompanied to the ring by the Blue Collar Mafia leader, Roger the Rotor Elder, and the executive assistant, Dangerous Curves, Debbie Caruso. They represent the Blue Collar Mafia. First off, from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 255 pounds, this is Mr. Everything, Jeff Fairweather. And his tag team partner is from Oma, Mississippi, 280 pounds. This is the Steamroller, Kevin Linton. And their opponents, first from Deer Park, Texas, weighing in at 280 pounds. This is Roughneck Ron Cassidy. And his tag team partner is from the Empire of Crustacea, weighing in an even 300 pounds. He is your OSWA World Heavyweight Champion. This is the Lobster Man, Jeff Costa. All right, all four men are in the ring, and we're just about ready to go. Highlight reel O is where we're going to do our pre-match roll, and it's a 46. The hot box ally of the underdog wrestler I raid over hot dog in a moment gets into argument, increase the grudge grade of both the ally and the underdog by one point, which means Nick Konecki is going to come out with them as well to uh, – further the flames, so to speak, between the two teams. So he's going to get his grudge up to a two. And not only that, but the tag team themselves, Mr. Everything, is going to get one for his grudge grade. And Kevin Littens will get his grudge grade moved up to a seven. So... With that taken care of, title is not on the line in this match. Let's call for the bell, and we're underway with our main event. And right away, we have Grudge. Roughneck Ron and Mr. Everything starting to match off. Both have the same Grudge grade, so it's going to go to the underdog. That is going to be the Blue Collar Mafia team. Let's see if there is a tag. There is. And so Kevin Linton now is going to come into the match, the former world heavyweight champion we're going to go to smart neither wrestler is smart we're going to go to tv they both have the same tv grade so it's going to be roughneck ron and he's going to get three points for a neck breaker and so is there going to be a tag there yes it is and in comes the world heavyweight champion the lobster man so with that, is Lobster Man smart? You bet he is. And he's going to get two points for a reverse Bulldog. Tag there. No tag this time. And we will roll on. We go to Agile. Neither wrestler is Agile. Um, neither one has an object. And neither one is considered favorite. Lynn's a heel, so he's actually going to have the cheat quality. And Lobster Man's going to keep his cheat quality anyway. So at the blue, that's three straight fat cards without a winner. So the blue rule is going to be in effect here. And the favorite team is going to get two points. That is the Lobster Man's team. Let's see if there's going to be a tag. And yes, Roughneck Ron will come back in. And here we go. It's another TV grade. And again, they have the same TV grade. So this time it's going to be Kevin Linton, the beneficiary of that, since he's on the trailing team. Three points for a tackle, but no tag. There's Roughneck Ron keeps them from doing that. They are both strong and powerful. So, so here we go. Test of strength, but the referee breaks the hold up. So neither one scores, so they're both going to stay in the ring. Neither wrestler is smart. Uh, powerful check. They're both powerful. Linton's trailing, so he will get three points for a crucifix powerbomb. And let's check for a tag here. And not only is it going to be a tag, but it's going to be a double team as well. So they're going to get an extra point with that exchange. And here we go. Uh, everyone is helped in a tag team match. The favorites are our trailing team now, so they are going to get the three points here. And let's see if Roughneck Ron can tag out. And he does, and 
Guess what? He and Lobster Man do a little double teaming on Mr. Everything. And they get closer to that pin square. And we go to Heavy and Lobster Man's Heavy. Three big points there for a body avalanche. And that is a pin attempt. Mr. Everything's a beast. So 11 to 26 for a kick out. There's one. There is two. And there is three. And so just like that, Lobster Man pins Mr. Everything in the middle of the ring. And Lobster Man and Rushneck Ron are your winners in the Grudge Challenge Tag Team match. So that means that we are going to uh, be changing our TV grades here in just a bit. But before that, let's go ahead and do our post-match roll. It is going to go to Highlight Real X. So let's go there now and see what happens here. It is a 43. Celebrity 3 makes an insulting comment about the defeated wrestler. Increase the defeated wrestler's grudge grade one point. Well, there was a special celebrity uh, tonight in the audience, that being Scram Racing legend Ray Bob Walker, and he was talking some serious trash to Mr. Everything and to Ken Linton. Uh, Kevin Linton, obviously, he is not a fan of the Blue Collar Mafia. So they are going to get their grudge grades increased. Kevin Linton's will go up to an eight, and Mr. Everything will go up to a two. But not only that, we are going to we're going to increase the TV grades. Rough Neck Ron is now going to be a double A, and the our champion, the Lobster Man, is going to become a B. And now Kevin Linton, his drops, he will be a B, and Mr. Everything will drop his TV grade down to a C. So your winners in our main event, the team of Roughneck Ron and the world champion, the Lobster Man. Uh, back to the studio for this show's wrap up. And so the Lobster Man and Roughneck Ron Cassidy are victorious today in our main event over the Blue Collar Mafia. Looks like it's back to the drawing board for Roger the Welder Elder. And what a show we had today. Wild, lots of action, uh, lots of questions that still need to be answered. Hopefully, we will have some of them answered on our next show. Speaking of our next show, here's what's coming up for our next episode of Old School Wrestling. Al Rose will be back in singles competition. Uh, we're going to have a singles match as well with the Chinese bear, Quang Choi. He's going to be facing another member of Yefeni El Akid's anti-American faction, in Captain Black. Speaking of Yefeni El uh, he is actually going to challenge Steve America for the OSWA Television Championship in our next show. And then also, we're going to have an episode of the Ringside Lounge. Uh, and it is rumored that the fate of Copacetic will be decided on this episode of the Ringside Lounge. Uh, what that exactly means, I'm not sure. You're gonna have to tune in to our next show to find that out. And finally, our main event on our next show is a number one contenders match. The winner of that match will take on the Lobster Man for the OSWA World Heavyweight Championship at Revenge. And we just got this handed to us by the commissioner. And so the two participants in the number one contenders match are gonna be Roughneck Ron Cassidy and the man called Z. Not much of a surprise there, as we've known for weeks that the Z is uh, the commissioner's uh, hand-picked guy. So maybe this is his way to try to get a hold of that world heavyweight championship, who knows? But in any event, it's Roughneck Ron and Z, our main event next show for the number one contendership. And that's going to do it for this episode of Old School Wrestling. For all of us here at Imagisports, this is Derek Jones saying thank you once again for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And most of all, keep on rolling. We will see you later.